What was it that led you to think that you could make a lot of money on Wall Street? What led me to think that was that in the period in which I started, which was probably 1960 in a vocational sense, and quite a bit before that, as a teenager, as an investor, what became clear to me early on was, and I suspect I'm using a phrase I used to use, I'm not discovering America by saying this, that there were trends in the market and uh, areas of popularity and unpopularity that reflected themselves in exaggerated price movements. And those exaggerated price movements became the basis for that phrase that you used, that I did and do use, uh, about uh, what's popular and what's not popular. And it seemed to me then, it seems to me now, that if one can find variant perceptions, not only which are variant, but in which you can, in your own efforts, create a, a degree of confidence that you may be right. There is no easier, and this is a strong statement, there is no easier way to make money in markets than having correct variant perceptions. I must say, you know, from my early teen years, until I retired in 1995, when I was 54 or 55 years old, I was, like very few people, totally committed to one thing. Not building the biggest firm, not having a, a well-oiled organization. I was committed to one thing, and that was having the best performance as a money manager period. And I was prepared to do all sorts of things for which I wasn't so well uh, trained to achieve that.